everybody. My name is Sarah Cathy, and today I want to show you illustration of a story in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 17. It's called Jesus Forgives and Heals a Paralytic. Now it happened on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Then, behold, men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. And when they could not find how they might bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the housetop and led him down on his bed through the tiling into the midst before Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. So basically, Jesus was just teaching in somebody's living room that day. And it was an awesome day. All the leaders were there to just check Jesus out, see what he was like. And really super crowded. I mean, I can't show you how many people were in the living room that day. So all I showed was Jesus. But there were so many people that you could not get in the front door. And this man who wanted to be healed, he was paralyzed. So he couldn't walk in. But he had four friends that brought him on a bed. And what they did is they moved the tiles on the roof and then this is what kind of looked like, see, ropes on the four corners and they lowered him down through the roof and there he was lying in front of Jesus and just hoping that Jesus would heal him. And the Bible said, the first thing Jesus said was, Man, your sins are forgiven you. Now that caused a problem for Jesus. Because the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning? In your minds. In other words, oh, it says hearts. Jesus knew what they were thinking. Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, rise up and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise. Take up your bed and go to your house. And so everybody kind of held their breath because that was an even more exciting thing for Jesus to say. I mean, here's this guy paralyzed. First, Jesus says his sins are forgiven. And you know that what that means. That's the sins. You know, all of us have committed sins. All of us have our sins recorded up in heaven. And it's almost like tallies against you. And this man knew he had sins. And most of us do know that we've committed many sins against God. And when Jesus said, your sins are forgiven, that meant all his sins were erased in heaven. And the Pharisees were upset about that because that's something only God could order to happen. But the man was very interested because everybody wants their sins forgiven. Well then, when Jesus said, rise up and walk, wow, he decided to give it a try. It wasn't easy, but the Bible says 
he immediately stood up. And then it says he picked up his bed and he went home, but he was so excited. It said he glorified God. Praise you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I am forgiven and healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm forgiven and I'm healed. 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 I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven and I'm healed. Well, you know that was a happy day. And Jesus was happy too. The Bible says immediately he took up his bed. He rose up before them, took up his bed, what he had been lying on, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Isn't that wonderful? Jesus proved that he was God and that he had the power to forgive sins because he was the Messiah. And the people knew that the Messiah was coming and that the Messiah would pay for their sin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for paying for my sin on the cross. Thank you for healing my body. You are the greatest God and the most wonderful Son of God that has ever come to earth. Thank you, Jesus.